Hi, I'm Steve from LotPro.com, and today I'll be taking a look at the 2012 Ford Focus SEL. Last summer, we had a chance to test drive the new designed and engineered in Europe Ford Focus, a car that impressed everyone here, and certainly the nicest one since the first generation version was introduced back in 1999. While we thoroughly enjoyed driving it, that SE was equipped with a 5-speed manual transmission. And though we prefer a manual, most buyers will be equipping theirs with an automatic. Another ulterior reason was the fact that Ford's power shift dual dry clutch automatic has drawn criticism from owners and reviewers alike. And quite frankly, we wanted to experience for ourselves what all the fuss was about. If you were to look inside the transmission case, you wouldn't find the torque converter and wet clutches of an ordinary hydraulic one. Instead, the power shift consists of two manual transmissions, with one carrying the odd gears 1, 3, and 5, and the other carrying the even gears 2, 4, and 6 plus reverse. The dual clutch unit is considered to be an automatic because the gear changes are controlled by a computer that directs the clutches to engage and disengage while delivering power to the wheels even during gear changes. In addition to the power shift six speed, helping you lay power to the pavement is an advanced torque vectoring control system that acts much like a limited slip differential. This system, according to Ford, is especially effective in the curves for, quote, applying an imperceptible amount of braking to the inside front wheels so that more of the engine torque goes to the outside wheel with greater traction, end quote. Our Focus hatchback and SEL trim came very well equipped. 16-inch alloy wheels, four-wheel disc brakes, power windows, mirrors, and keyless entry were all standard. Inside, there is plenty of front seat room for adults of just about all sizes. The driver's seat is even equipped with a height adjustment feature that allows those who are vertically challenged to compensate for the somewhat high belt line of the Focus. Interior materials are also first rate. Soft touch surfaces abound with rich looking details on both the dashboard and door trim. Because our SEL was equipped with the MyFord Touch HD Sirius Navigation Package, the 27 dashboard buttons we complained about on our previous Focus SE were replaced by a touch screen giving the former button central location a clean, minimalist look. Interior cargo space is generous at nearly 24 cubic feet, although rear passenger legroom for adults is a tight fit at just 33.2 inches. All gasoline-powered Focuses feature Ford's 2.0-liter inline four. It combines high-pressure direct injection and twin independent variable camshaft timing, producing 160 horsepower and 146 pound-feet of torque. Base price was $21,065 and, with destination, the total MSRP bottom line at $24,075. After a week spent driving mostly around town and, by the way, achieving an average of 28 MPG, I came away impressed with Ford's latest engineering effort. Wrapping it all up, the focus continues to be one of the best looking cars in its class. It's also a lot of fun to drive. With more than enough power for straight line acceleration, its handling is also solid and, even through the curves, the Focus feels stable and confident. As per the power shift, once American drivers get used to the dual dry clutch automatic, I'm sure we'll hear less quibbling about its few eccentricities. Finally, I believe Ford has another segment leading vehicle on its hands in the automatic equipped Focus. Well, there you have it, the 2012 Ford Focus SEL. I'm Steve from LotPro.com. Have a great day.